Okay, today I have a very special video for you, mainly because I wasn't even planning on doing a video. Why? Well, because my wife and I are currently here. Yes, on vacation in this horribly hideous place. I have no camera gear with me. I'm actually filming this entire video on my iPhone. So we just didn't plan on it. But then I thought, you know what you wanna know? You wanna know after spending all the money you spend on hair products to keep your hair healthy, after all the money you spend on hair color to make your hair the color that you want, how do you keep that color? How do you keep that health when you're out in the sun or enjoying a pool? Well, that's what we're talking about today. So stay tuned, we're gonna give some tips. Okay, so the first tip is simple. It has to do with what is right here, or say hello to my wife, what she's wearing right there. What do you got, babe? A hat. A hat. A hat is a great way to start protecting your hair and more importantly, your scalp. More on that in a little bit. But what other hat options do you have? You can wear a snapback hat like we've got, or a fun little sun, what is that? Sun hat, I don't know. Is a sun hat? Fedora? No. Fedora or something? I don't, I don't know. know. That's Nonetheless, it's a, fancy sun hat. it's a hat. But here's the key with this hat versus something like the hat I'm wearing. You notice there's a brim all the way around that. What that means is there's a little bit more protection. But one thing you have to be aware of is keep in mind that while these are a good start to protection, they are not a sole means of protection when it comes to your hair. You need a little bit more than that because if you can see, there's a lot down here that's not being covered. That means it's not being protected. Huh. Even though you want to think so. So that's when we move on to step two and three and the other ones I'm going to share with you. And do me a favor, ignore the room, which we will show you later, because it is a disaster, because we live like five-year-olds, basically. You live like a five-year-old. No, 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 don't let her twist. She lives like a five-year-old, and I end up cleaning everything up all the time. No. I'm staring at stuff that I left out right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, tip two. Okay, so we talked about tip number one, which is wearing a hat, which I'm not doing right now, but there's another thing that we need to pay attention to if we're talking about how to protect your hair, and that is protecting your scalp. Yes, your hair grows out of your scalp, so keep your scalp, scalp, keep your scalp happy, keep, oh my gosh, keep your scalp happy and you'll keep your hair happy, right? So one way, easy way to do that is to put suntan lotion on your part line. A lot of people do that already or maybe even think about that, but one thing they forget many times is also applying it to your calyx. Any hair, any area where your hair parts is an important place to, well, have sunscreen and protect the scalp and how amazing is this right now? Look. How cool is this little... Like, I feel like we're in the middle of the jungle, but we're definitely not. No. No? No. No. Okay. <laughs> so, now we've kind of covered a little bit about what you do if you're going to be just out walking around, hanging out. What happens when you head to the pool? Perfect example. We're heading to the pool right now, so we'll tell you here in just a second. Okay, so we just got to the pool, uh, and I almost forgot one actually very important tip before we dive in. Play on words, didn't even mean that. Oh, Literally, no. <laughs> before we dive into the water, uh, there is one more thing that you can do before you get to the pool, which is use a leave in as a sun protector. So, before we talked a little bit about why it was important to protect your scalp and to use a hat, but the hat only protects the top of your hair, not the ends, hence the leave in conditioner. Right? So, put that on, head outside, and it's going to help a lot. However, with that said, once you dive into the pool, we're talking about something a little bit more dramatic. Oh, and that brings us to the next tip. You're not gonna like this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna put that out there right here. Wear a swim cap. Ugh. Like, does anybody actually wear, no, nobody actually wants to wear a swim cap, but I'll tell you before I give you any of the other tips, the most effective way to keep your hair from being damaged while you're at a pool or in a pool, especially if it's a public pool like this, where they're usually pretty heavily chlorinated, or if you're swimming at the gym, is unfortunately wearing a swim cap. There's nothing else that's going to protect your hair to that level. But I also understand that nobody really wants to wear a swim cap. So with that said, there's some other tips. Okay, so now you're in the pool, right? And let's be realistic. You don't want to wear a swim cap. I, I can't honestly say I don't blame you for that. But what do you do? Like, how do you protect your hair from the chlorine in the pool now? There's definitely a handful of different ways, but one way is to rinse your hair before you get in the pool and then rinse it immediately after the pool. And the reason this works is because your hair can only absorb so much moisture. So if you get it nice and wet before you get in the pool, it's gonna have less of an ability to take on more of the pool water moisture, which is 
heavy in chlorine and all the things that are bad for your hair. The best option would ideally be that you would actually rinse your hair before you got in the pool, get in the pool, and if your hair gets wet for an extended period of time, just recognize that the moisture that was in your hair has kind of been transplanted, if you will, with the moisture from the pool, and therefore you're gonna have some chlorine in there that you're going to want to shampoo out. So when you get out of the pool, you would immediately head over and actually rinse your hair and shampoo out as much of that chlorine and that pool water as you could. So that is one of my other tips, but I've got more. But right now I'm gonna go enjoy some pool, so I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so my very last tip, and the funny thing is, what you don't realize is this is actually being filmed. I'm filming this tip uh, almost a year after all the rest of this video. Yes, and in the last video, the wind was so bad on this last tip, you couldn't hear anything, I couldn't save the audio, so I figured I'd wait. And I waited until we came back to the island that I'm talking about in this clip right here. Can you see this, this little place right over here? Yes. That island is actually this island that we're standing on, Isla Mujeres. Uh, so that behind me, if you can see it, is exactly where I was standing last year. I know, totally pointless, but I had to share that with you. <laughs> anyway, so my last tip deals with conditioner. So in my recent tip, I said, you should put on a sort of leave-in conditioner before you get on the into the pool. And this actually works really well if you're wearing a swim cap as well. It's kind of double protection. However, many times people think, well, you know what? If I'm gonna wear a conditioner, put a conditioner in my hair, my hair is a little bit dry. I'll use a deep conditioner, seems like a good plan. But in reality, it's actually a very dangerous plan. See, a strong conditioner is typically meant to condition your hair to add back in the nutrients every so often, right, when your hair needs it, not daily. And if you use it daily, many times, it can actually be too much for your hair and it could potentially dry your hair out. So you wanna be very careful about doing that. Instead, I would use a detangling rinse. Now, there is one time where it actually makes sense for you to use an intense conditioner, and that's if you're swimming not as often, maybe every so often, and you just wanna be a little safe when you get out of the pool. So you get out of the pool, use a stripping shampoo to strip out any of that chlorine or anything that may have gotten in your hair. At that point, because you're using a stripping shampoo, that's the perfect time to use a deeper conditioner because it's going to put back into your hair what that shampoo stripped out. Okay, so before I end this video, I'm actually back from vacation now, uh, but I wanted to pop on here real quickly and just say, uh, I put in my community posts that I got this comment on a recent video. And I said, you guys can comment below and I'll use the best comment to uh, respond to this in the next video, which would be this one right here. And first of all, before I even share the responses that I personally loved and that you guys seem to like as well, uh, I do wanna say thank you to everybody. It honestly never ceases to amaze me when I give you guys and my community an opportunity to go to bat for me. Uh, you never fail me and it's always very humbling and I very much want you to know how much I appreciate that support. It never falls on deaf ears. So first of all, just thank you. You guys are amazing. But with that said, uh, there are definitely a few comments that I loved and I thought was hilarious. You guys particularly loved this one, which I did too, actually. It makes a whole lot of sense. And there's a bunch of other ones. I'll just kind of put them on the screen over here so that you can kind of read through them as I just expressed one very specific point about all of this. Uh, a few of you mentioned, why would you even respond to this? Don't bother with the negativity. And I completely agree with you. I actually get literally hundreds of comments that are snarky like this, and I typically don't respond. However, every once in a while, there pops one up that I can use to express something that I think is very important for you to understand, especially when you're paying attention to my channel. It's part of something that I really want this channel to be all about. This is a perfect example of one of those comments. You hear this crazy thing. I don't fully disagree with this. <laughs> I know, right? Well, here's the part that I don't disagree with. I don't disagree with the fact that you don't need me or any man or anyone to critique you. When it comes to your hair, first of all, if you don't respect my opinion or anyone's opinion, you should never allow them to determine what you do. Your number one, in my opinion, needs to be that you follow whatever makes you feel the most confident. And if that completely goes against what I tell you is right or wrong when it comes to hair, that is absolutely fine. Ignore me, tell me to shut up, turn me off, do whatever you need to do, but don't pay attention to me or anyone else. I also, though, realize that that's easy to say. 
but most of us turn to people for some sort of critique because we value their opinion or we just want some kind of second opinion on what we're doing. And in those situations, I recommend finding people, just a few, that you use in this specific circumstance. People that are supportive friends, that support you in what you do, that will also be honest with you. Folks that are positive in their reinforcement of you, not going to try to tear you down because whatever, they're having a bad day or they're just that type of person. But instead, people that will actually lift you up positively. However, be honest with you in their opinion, and because of that positive interaction and that respect, mutual respect between the both of you, you can take those opinions and actually use them to your advantage. Just make sure that you're choosing the right people and don't let any random person like this ruin your day or modify your path because that's crap. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you hanging out, watching this video, especially if you stuck around this long and uh, we will see you next Tuesday in the next video. Make sure you watch this video right here too now so that uh, you don't miss some good insight. <laughs> All right. You have a good one. We'll see you next week. Thanks again. Bye.